What's going on guys, JSGC Football here and we are here for another video. Today we're going to be doing a stadium tour, we're going to be going around Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, we're going to be rating our experience and seeing is it value for money. We're also going to be doing the Skywalk today, it's unique to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium so looking forward to seeing it and having a look at some of the exclusive behind the scenes stuff involving Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. So, before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, do subscribe. Also don't forget social media links, they're in the description. Do leave a thumbs up and do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So, let's go and check out that stadium tour. If you're doing the stadium tour, then just come into the club shop, walk behind where you find the big board and that's where you can check in. It's a self-guided tour, you get headphones and you also get a device as well. As it is self-guided, I presume it'll explain to you everything that's on there. There's lots of different languages as well available for you. And uh, well, today we're going in English. You got the overview as well. Make sure you put your earphones on and tell you all about it. So, just for the standard stadium tour today has cost £27 per person. Uh, we're also going to be doing the Skywalk as well, which can be included as a bundle, and that has cost £39. So £27 for the stadium tour and £39 for the Skywalk. You are also given a wristband at the beginning of your tour, which is scanning, uh, and will be checked as you start your stadium tour. See it. This display of courage, the sight of a mighty strength and fierce spirit. Can you hear it? The sound of beating hearts, the roaring of masses. The greats that have laid the foundation, the pioneers of generations past, doing, daring. Can you feel it? The thunder of a mighty crowd, the anticipation of greatness. Glory days and glory nights that echo for generations to come. Moments of transcendence. Figures that became legends. Bringing pride to the shirt. Bringing life to these streets. Because these streets are home to the mighty Spurs. We do have some of the trophies that Spurs have won, including the UEFA Cup, now known as the Europa League on the show, the European Cup Winners Cup as well, FA Cups, League Cups, very interesting. We do also have a little sign capsule here, which was put into Spurs' new stadium in 2018 and it'll be cracked open in 2068. And included in that is documents, paperwork, and predictions for what they think the future is going to hold for the 50 years from the stadium being built. Very interesting. So we're going to head up the escalators and see what else the stadium tour brings. And this is the FA Cup back in 1901. My Spurs remain the only team to have won the FA Cup as a non-league team. Interesting. We also got the Jules Rimet trophy and the cap there for Sir Alf Ramsey. Interesting. Yes, I presume is what else we're going to be seeing today. We won't be going in the H Club today as that is shut, but we are allowed to go in the suites to show what premium hospitality does look like here at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So we're up on the West Quarter, Level 3, Chairman Suite, the Residency, the Draft, Stadium Social and the Mixer. We're going to be showing through some hospitality. Looking very swanky, I must say. I'd love to be able to chuck some prices out there for you guys, but I'm not sure. But I'm so sure someone in the comments might know a rough idea of how much the prices are for hospitality here at Spurs Stadium. Always interested to know what beer they've got on offer. Got Inches Cider Beer, Moretti and Neck Oil on tap. Also got one of our own, Heineken. I can see Amp still over there as well. Well, let's go and have a look then into the stadium bowl itself.
Now that main stand is a thing of beauty. And I have had the pleasure to be on it uh, when we came to watch the NFL here as well. Acoustics are brilliant. It is very steep up there. You get a brilliant view of the play. The stand's enormous. And I love that it's all just one tier. Perfect. You just clock right up to the top. You might just be able to pick out where people are doing the skywalk, which is what we'll be doing later. All right up there is what we'll be doing in a bit. It is a beautiful stadium. Here we've got some hospitality seats, nice little cup holder. Padded of course, let's give it a try. Pretty comfortable, nice armrest. Perfect place to watch football. That would be your view. Impressive stuff. So we can't go up to the one upstairs which is the H Club as it's shut today unfortunately but we can go and check out one of the premium suites instead. Food and everything. So, 57 bespoke private suites. Here we've got more padded seats. Just directly below where you've got the suite, you've got where the media sit. So, everyone that's doing the admin for the Twitter for the teams that are playing and all the you know, big media corporations, staff will be on there watching the game. Seats are pretty comfortable and inform that they are heated as well. All the fancy wines out as well on the bar area. Premium hospitality. Very swanky. Right, let's head downstairs again. Now we're going to go to the player journey and back downstairs. Right, we're going to go and have a look at the away dressing room where City will have been having a big party on there a couple of days ago on Tuesday night, celebrating their victory against Tottenham here at this wonderful stadium. Looks like a medical room. This will have been where Edison would have come and Kevin De Bruyne. All the Premier League teams shirts out. There's only one shirt I'm going to. Nice. You can also have to shower through there. And for an away dressing room. You know, this isn't bad at all. I know other clubs out there when they do the away dressing rooms. Very basic. You can have your picture with a player of the month trophy there as well. Which is all put on your wristband. Let's go and have a look what Spurs offer. Uh, and more importantly, how it compares in uh, comparison with the away dressing room facilities. Not a gym. A boot room. Home dressing room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here you've got human sun shirt. Also in the home dressing room. I've been informed to come and check out the spa. Yes. <laughs> nice little recovery session in there. Chan will be sat in there all day. Uh, players will come in there, uh, I presume post match for recovery and showers. Very swanky. There's Spurs Medical Room. 
There you've got the dining area for the players. Meeting all of their nutritional needs. The players will arrive three and a half hours before kickoff. Meet three hours before kickoff. And it gives benefits for the body and enough time to absorb the protein and convert the carbohydrate into energy. Ready for a competitive game in the Premier League and other competitions as well. And there's a little area for the coaching staff to relax and prepare ahead of a game here at the stadium as well. The Tottenham winning the 1984 UEFA Cup. Next up, more hospitality into the Tunnel Club. And after that, we'll be heading into the players' tunnel and going pitch side. So let's see what the Tunnel Club will do. It'll be interesting to see because I've uh, gone and done Man City's Tunnel Club hospitality. So let's see how this compares. Yeah, we've got lockers, which they don't have at Man City. Nice tables, everything on offer. And uh, there's the players' tunnel. You can see the visitors going in through there and the home players coming in through here. Now the one thing I know that Manchester City have is at Tunnel Club, uh, you get to see the players pre-match uh, coming in, uh, whereas with here, uh, so, so they come in and enter through the stadium which you get to see, whereas when here you're going to wait for the players to arrive in and as they go into the dressing room and coming out to the pitch is where they'll see them, but uh, it's quirky. now. I'm going to be very biased here and I'm going to say I prefer Manchester City because I'm a Manchester City fan, but it is swanky here. There's the visitors. There's the home team. And that's where we've just been in there. There's the tunnel club. And here we can walk through the tunnel and enter into the stadium. <laughs> no, I'm not running on. Right, onto the pitch we go. If you're a player on match day, you can enter and go on to the pitch, which I've only just realised is actually on a slant. There we go. I know Old Trafford's also on a slant as well. You can really appreciate the sheer size of the stadium now. And you do have the opportunity to go and sit in the players' dugout and where the manager would sit for both Spurs and the away managers. Let's test out a dugout seat. Nice little spiders get everywhere, we've got a little cobweb. Some bougie spiders. Some bougie spiders. Now these just tilt back so you can relax. These are my kind of seats. Armrest included, heated. Winner. I think this is the manager's seat. Don't quote me on that. Maybe they'll just go to the dugout there. They're not going to do much sitting. So the seats mirror where the dressing room are. That was the away dressing room where Pep Guardiola was a couple of days ago. This is the home dugout now. And right here is where you'd find Ange Postacoglu. A good view here for the Spurs manager. <laughs> and seats also very comfortable. Now to the interview room. She'll come this way. And post match players will come here. You see the cameras interviewing the players and giving their thoughts and the managers and everybody. Exclusive behind the scenes. Hello, Julie, got set up in there. Then you up there. More media areas and green screens. Got the media room in there where I was Costa Coglu. And the players will do their briefings before and post match. Now, anyone that knows me knows I am a huge Miami Dolphins fan, and I know at Spurs Stadium because I've been and watched the Dolphins here against the Jacksonville Jaguars, that they do NFL here. And they do add it on the stadium tour as well. And I am so excited to have a look at the NFL away locker room. And back in 2022, 
two, I think it was, when the Dolphins played here. This will have been their locker room, so let's see what it looks like. Ah, oh, look at this. The agreement extended to the end of 2013. This is sick. We hope we're going to get more than just two games eventually because it's some of the process has taken the nation. All the teams' jerseys out as well. Let's go and find the Dolphins one. 13, which is we've got number one yeah, yeah. Dolphin shirt um, just there. We'll have a team there. This is the press auditorium. Spurs Stadium does have a contract, by the way, for the NFL until 2030, recently uh, announced. Second one is with Sonny. He's got no space in this side of his So you'll need to face this way at Sonny and laugh back at him. You need to face that way. Well, Pre match, all the press conferences are done at Tottenham's training ground, which I've been informed is in Enfield, whereas post match, all done in the stadium right here behind me, which is where you'll find Ange Postacoglu and everybody else. I've just had my picture taken up there and the staff member in here, Sharon, big shout out to her, having a great conversation about my team, Manchester City and Tottenham Hotspur and also that big result on Tuesday. Fantastic. Right, let's see what else is left in the tour. Next one, you've got the video gallery and the CCTV. You can have a good look at what everybody's doing. They have a little cafe as well where you can get some food and drink as well. And all this walking around, wet the appetite, so I'm going to go get a drink. I've heard about London prices and it's expensive, but I was expected to be more, to be fair. Okay. Do have some food on offer as well if you want in it. Banana chocolate. Got some savoury stuff as well. We're having a slice of cake. Victoria's sponge cake. And the cream and the jam in that. It's a lovely combination, a very nice cake. I do approve. And whilst you're on the stadium tour, you get access to the M Cafe, which is where we are now. This is also where all the press officers will come before uh, they go to go and speak to the manager post-match. And also serves as a lounge for the media from around the world. That's part of the tour. A little bit of the original White Hart Lane, right here in Spurs New Stadium. What a nice way to end the tour. So that's the end of our stadium tour, and I would say, bet for the price of 27 great British pounds, it's well worth it. It's a brilliant experience to go and see. And if you're ever in North London, come and check it out. But our experience doesn't stop here. We're going to go and check out that Skywalk now. And let's see what it's like. I can't bring my camera up for that, but I can bring my phone up and see what that's like and see if that is also value for money because I can confirm this stadium tour is brilliant. It gives you a fantastic insight into what Tottenham Hotspur and the direction that they're going in is all about. Come and check it out if you haven't already. And there's Spurs' first NFL game back in 2019. And that's what we're going to go and do now. And since Spurs are in the Football League in the 1900s, here's a list of all their players. Can we find Kyle Walker? There he is. Man City's current captain. Left in 2017 for £50 million to join. Manchester City. And Tanganga, the latest player included on here. Love that. And of course we're going to take it out into the gift store. Right, let's go and do the Dare Skywalk. You do have to leave the club shop and you walk around I just go round the corner, you're right here. There's the exterior of the wonderful Spurs Stadium. And we're going to be going into here. Let's do it. Righty-o, let's do it.
incredible view up here that you can look out onto London city centre. Now there are several restrictions in place, so you can bring your phone up, you can't bring anything else up with you and you will give your phone to your guide and they'll take some pictures where you can go and see uh, and walk past the Tottenham Hotspur cockerel up there and it is such a surreal experience that I would recommend it. We paid £39 each to be up here and I would say it's worth every single penny because it is so unique and we've fallen really lucky that it's just me and my wife that uh, managed to come up here by chance rather than us booking in our own private tour so it was like having our own private tour and I'd say it was worth every penny uh, and they do some walks up here during sunset which I'm sure would be really nice as well but this is incredible let me show you the view looks out over to London you can also hang over the edge which they take you up here and hang you right over the edge here looking down I don't know if you guys can hear some construction work going on there in the background but that's Tottenham building their own hotel next to the stadium so you'll just be clipped in and you'll walk right up there there's a lot of incline walking up here and only a hundred steps which is surprising to get up to the roof and then back down again and your overall experience up here must be about 25 30 minutes so plenty of time such a surreal unique experience can uh, come and have a closer look of london through the telescope just here as well and again looking out over to london and north london just out over here yeah, the Ali Pali Hill, Alexandra Palace up there, and just over here, those who shall not be named. I was being told, I'm not sure if my camera can quite pick it up, but there's a little tint of red, which is where you'll find it. those who shall not be named Stadium over there. Uh, Wembley, for those that are interested, sits behind uh, over the top of uh, Ali Pali's Hill. So you can't see it from up here. You've got the Alexandra Palace and that. Uh, Wembley's just tucked over behind uh, Ali Pali Hill. So you won't be able to see it from up here, unfortunately. But you do get this really nice view here of London. It's also great for plane spotting up here as well. Marvellous stuff. You do get shoes provided up here, harness and everything. Um, superb. Can't recommend it enough. Staff here, very attentive as well very knowledgeable would 100% recommend doing both the stadium tour and the dare to skywalk as well right so that's our experience done at tottenham hotspur stadium tour absolutely brilliant as i said big shout out to the staff there making it very memorable one thing i really took away from that tour is that it's self-guided so you can take it at your own pace if you want to linger around get a real feel for the stadium and get all the pictures that you're looking for you're not being rushed and I think that to me is a unique selling point and Tottenham Hotspur nailed that to a T and for that reason alone I think it's value for money and then some. Now the skywalk at the top of the stadium again magnificent views of London you got a magnificent view of the stadium it's so uh, knowledgeable to, to learn about the, the thought process that goes into the stadium that you never really think about. The wiring, where does it all go? What do they do with the pitches? What's going on with the go-karts underneath the stadium car park? Uh, what's happening with all the construction outside? Everything's just all there. Uh, and the amount of information that you absorb is phenomenal because uh, i just i love learning about all of these things so uh, for that reason to me again it's value for money and then some so if you are ever down in london and you do or are interested in learning about football culture here in the uk and you want to go and check out uh, one of the stadium tours and you want to give priority tottenham hotspur the most modern uh, up-to-date stadium or major stadium that you've got uh, in London so that would be my recommendation uh, I am hoping at some point to be able to go and check out some of the other sides stadium tours and see how they compare and see what little differences you find in between one stadium and the other because uh, I'm North West Bay so you've got huge football teams Manchester City Manchester United Liverpool who I think all offer stadium tours so if that is something that interests you guys in the future then uh, do just uh, let me know 
in the comments below. As I said, do leave a thumbs up, that way I do know that you are uh, enjoying the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. We've got plenty more football content to enjoy for you guys. And also don't forget to go and check out our social media links, which you can find in the description. And I will see you all real soon for the next video. So I've been JSGC Football. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.